We've touched on the basics of cleaning internal and external data, but there's lots more to come. Soon, we'll learn about the common errors to be aware of to ensure your data is complete, correct, and relevant. In this video, we'll focus on common issues associated with dirty data. These include spelling and other text errors, inconsistent labels, formats, and field length, missing data, and duplicates. This will help you recognize problems quicker and give you the information you need to fix them when you encounter something similar during your own analysis. This is incredibly important in data analytics. Okay, let's go back to our Law Office spreadsheet. As a quick refresher, we'll start by checking out the different types of dirty data it shows. Sometimes, someone might key in a piece of data incorrectly. Other times, they might not keep data formats consistent. It's also common to leave a field blank. That's also called a null, which we learned about earlier. And if someone adds the same piece of data more than once, that creates a duplicate. So let's break that down. Then we'll learn about a few other types of dirty data and strategies for cleaning it. Misspellings, spelling variations, mixed up letters, inconsistent punctuation, and typos in general happen when someone types in a piece of data incorrectly. As a data analyst, you'll also deal with different currencies. For example, one data set could be in US dollars and another in euros, and you don't want to get them mixed up. We want to find these types of errors and fix them like this. You'll learn more about this soon. Clean data depends largely on the data integrity rules that an organization follows, such as spelling and punctuation guidelines. For example, a beverage company might ask everyone working in its database to enter data about volume in fluid ounces instead of cups. It's great when an organization has rules like this in place. It really helps minimize the amount of data cleaning required but it can't eliminate it completely. The next type of dirty data our spreadsheet shows is inconsistent formatting. In this example, something that should be formatted as currency is shown as a percentage. Until this error is fixed, like this, the law office will have no idea how much money this customer paid for its services. We'll learn about different ways to solve this and many other problems soon. We discussed nulls previously, but as a reminder, nulls are empty fields. This kind of dirty data requires a little more work than just fixing a spelling error or changing a format. In this example, the data analysts would need to research which customer had a consultation on July 4th, 2020. Then, when they find the correct information, they'd have to add it to the spreadsheet. Another common type of dirty data is a duplicate. Maybe two different people added this appointment on August 13th, not realizing that someone else had already done it. Or maybe the person entering the data hit copy and paste by accident. Whatever the reason, it's the data analyst's job to identify this error and correct it by deleting one of the duplicates. OK, now let's continue on to some other types of dirty data. The first has to do with labeling. To understand labeling, imagine trying to get a computer to correctly identify panda bears among images of all different kinds of animals. You need to show the computer thousands of images of panda bears. They're all labeled as panda bears. Any incorrectly labeled picture, like the one here that's just bear, will cause a problem. The next type of dirty data is having an inconsistent field length. You learned earlier that a field is a single piece of information from a row or a column of a spreadsheet. Field length is a tool for determining how many characters can be keyed into a field. Assigning a certain length to the fields in your spreadsheet is a great way to avoid errors. For instance, if you have a column for someone's birth year, you know the field length is four because all years are four digits long. Some spreadsheet applications have a simple way to specify field lengths and make sure users can only enter a certain number of characters into a field. This is part of data validation. Data validation is a tool for checking the accuracy and quality of data before adding or importing it. Data validation is a form of data cleansing, which you'll learn more about soon. But first, you'll get familiar with more techniques for cleaning data. This is a very important part of the data analyst's job and I look forward to sharing these data cleaning strategies with you. Now that you're familiar with some of the most common types of dirty data, it's time to clean them up. As you've learned, clean data is essential to data integrity and reliable solutions and decisions. The good news is that spreadsheets have all kinds of tools you can use to get your data ready for analysis. The techniques for data cleaning will be different depending on the specific data set you're working with. 
so we won't cover everything you might run into. But this will give you a great starting point for fixing the types of dirty data analysts find most often. Think of everything that's coming up as a teaser trailer of data cleaning tools. I'm going to give you a basic overview of some common tools and techniques, and then we'll practice them again later on. Here, we'll discuss how to remove unwanted data, clean up text to remove extra spaces and blanks, fix typos, and make formatting consistent. However, before removing unwanted data, it's always a good practice to make a copy of the data set. That way, if you remove something that you end up needing in the future, you can easily access it and put it back in the data set. Once that's done, then you can move on to getting rid of the duplicates or data that isn't relevant to the problem you're trying to solve. Typically, duplicates appear when you're combining data sets from more than one source or using data from multiple departments within the same business. You've already learned a bit about duplicates, but let's practice removing them once more now using this spreadsheet, which lists members of a professional logistics association. Duplicates can be a big problem for data analysts, so it's really important that you can find and remove them before any analysis starts. 